The Apalachicola Chattahoochee Flint, or ACF River Basin, is a 50,000 square kilometer watershed that is simply captivating. For numerous reasons, the basin is often at the center of fundamental debates regarding the environment, ideas of ownership, water use, interpretation of the law, scientific research, policy, and management. The ACF Basin is internationally recognized for both its terrestrial and aquatic biological abundance. Supporting many species found nowhere else in the world, the region is a hot spot of biodiversity. In addition, the area is one of the fastest growing parts of the country, with projections estimating a massive expansion of development within the next 20 years. The area is also prone to occasional drought. In recent time, drought occurred from 1998 to 2002 and 2006 to 2008. This regional drought was highly visible as a red hot spot on national drought monitor maps. Lower availability of water had massive impacts on the people of the basin, leading to huge decreases in water levels and reservoirs that are used for water supply by Metro Atlanta. In addition, farmers in the southern part of the basin were hit hard as well. Finally, at the southern terminus of the basin, the fishing and oyster industry is also affected by drought. To sustain productivity in the estuarian bay, an adequate quantity of fresh water must flow down the river system and into the Gulf of Mexico. In response to these issues, water managers have looked at how the region's largest reservoirs may be affecting the system. Based on data from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers National Inventory of Dams, it is apparent that reservoirs have accumulated over time throughout the basin. However, this database is intended to capture large, potentially hazardous dams and is missing a great deal of information. Tens of thousands of small reservoirs are missing from this picture. There are small reservoirs in urban areas, in mountainous regions, and in agricultural areas. Developments in GIS and remote sensing technologies now allow us to recognize the cumulative impact of these smaller impoundments. Looking at aerial photography and satellite imagery, we see that the ACF Basin is in the southeastern United States. Zooming into the area, we can overlay political boundaries and see that the basin intersects three states, with most of the area located in Georgia. The three major rivers are also evident. The Chattahoochee River has headwaters in the mountains, passes by Atlanta, and becomes the Georgia-Alabama border. The Flint River has headwaters just below the city of Atlanta and then passes through Georgia's southern agricultural area as a largely groundwater-fed system. Finally, these two rivers converge to form the Apalachicola River at the Florida border. Together, these rivers form the ACF system. Remote sensing allows us to identify and analyze the spatial distribution and characteristics of the region's reservoirs. Thanks to GIS and remote sensing, we are now able to recognize that there are about a dozen large reservoirs, several hundred medium reservoirs, and over 24,000 small reservoirs, greatly adding to the picture of reservoir accumulation over time. Zooming in, we can see that these features are indeed small, localized constructions that add up to have substantial aggregate impacts at the basin-wide scale.